All right, guys, I got an unboxing video for you today. Most of you know I got a brand new Skeeter last summer. What comes with those Skeeters? Simple lead acid batteries. I can't have those heavy batteries. As most of you know, I'm a big guy. I need to shed some weight, pick up some speed. This past weekend at the Wisconsin Fishing Expo, I was able to meet Matthew, the owner of Amped Outdoors. Pretty local company to where I live, up here in Wisconsin. And we got to talking and set up kind of a system for my, uh, for my Skeeter. These aren't just lithium batteries. As you most might know, I only got, I got three lithium batteries from them. As the fourth battery will be my cranking battery, which won't be lithium because Yamaha won't let me run a lithium on it or it'll void the warranty. Otherwise I would run a lithium on it. This box has a little secret in here that I don't think most of you have seen. So keep watching the video because I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Let's get into these boxes. All right, guys, let's get into this. I don't know how, so you need to be careful not to cut anything, not to cut myself or any of that fun stuff. I think this is my electronics battery. I'll go more into depth with the full setup here later. But, oh, how do we want to take this out? This is just a box. Throw that out of the way. So this is our battery. We got a 100 amp hour, 12 volt lithium battery. This will be my electronics battery. Basically gonna be running like my, Gar my Garmin Live Scope, my 360, my graphs. I don't know if I'm gonna put my live well pumps and stuff on it or I'm gonna leave that on the cranking battery. That is gonna be determined. But otherwise, this is my brand new Amped Outdoors battery. Something else that's pretty cool about these batteries is that they're Bluetooth. You can get an app on your phone to keep an eye on your battery's charge throughout the day and see what your whole system is sitting at. I think is pretty cool. Your normal lead acid battery is not gonna do that for you. And if you wanna check it during a tournament day, that's pretty, not, pretty nice to have. But let's go check these other batteries we got. I wanna be careful. I'm not gonna throw, the, I'm not gonna throw this like the box, even though it is really light. We'll just give it a gentle push. Oh, stickers. All right, let's get into the lithium batteries for my trolling motor. Now, my trolling motor is 36 volts. To get 36 volts, usually you have to have three 12 volts. And for our lithium batteries, that is not gonna be the case. We're only running two, but it's, there's some, there's something kind of cool. Oh, there's a box inside a box. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute now. <laughs> Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. All right. All right. Sorry. Now into the unboxing. <laughs> I am happy that they packaged it well and that I got here safe. So, ooh, this is cool. All right. So this is a little different. It's not a 12 volt battery, it's a 36 volt, 50 amp hour. And I'm gonna have two of these, Get that out of the way. I'm gonna have two of these, which will equal 100 amp hours. I apologize, I'm also kind of sick at the time of filming this. <laughs> also has the Bluetooth capability, but instead of running three batteries, I can, for size comparison, this is a 12 volt, this is a 36 volt. 
Not much of a difference between the two for size wise. Width wise, about the same. A little bit longer, but not much. So I'm gonna be saving a lot of space by running two of these batteries this year. And I'm not gonna really be, I, I'm probably gonna have more power than the three lead acids in my boat currently. But I, I, could, I could go on and on about these. <laughs> Let's unbox the other one real quick. Bring it down from the shelf. I missed. I missed, I missed. Don't you just hate having a stuffy nose? Also feel like I'm breathing super heavy. Oh, okay. We got some big old decals for the boat and truck. I'll be rocking these. About to put those on this weekend. Get those gently put over there. So much stuff new to this unboxing thing but again box inside of a box they care about their product want to make sure it gets to the customer in one piece oh come on now Ooh. cue the spongebob one hour later decals all right two of these two of these bad boys gonna be powering my trolling motor this year I'm really looking forward to installing these in my boat I'm really looking forward to getting these installed in my boat and I will mark my words I will be making an install video on all these batteries in my boat so let's get these out of the way all right guys this I'm, I'm super excited about those batteries, but this, this, I saw at the Wisconsin Fishing Expo, and I couldn't believe my eyes. So my setup is comparable to a five battery setup for a bass boat. I'll be running four because of the two 36 volts. Usually to charge that many batteries, or that type of power, you're gonna be running a five bank charger. Maybe a four, you could, you could weirdly rig it up to do a four bank, but usually a five bank. Cause what the five bank does, got some ASMR, pop, pop, pop. As I was saying, the five bank chargers, usually each bank charges 12 volts. So each bank gets assigned to a battery. What if I were to tell you instead of a five bank charger, I am going to be using a three bank charger. <laughs> if you would have told me this before I saw this product, I'll gently set this here, I would have said you were crazy. Absolutely crazy. As that falls down. But this right here is gonna be a game changer in the fishing industry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up this box and show you what I'm talking about. So as I said, it is a three bank, three bank charger for my, for my batteries. Put that there. I want to be careful because I don't necessarily want to break this down, but I'll show a better, more close-up view of this. But the gist of it is, one bank is charging 36 volts. The other are charging 12 and 12. So one bank is gonna be able to charge my trolling motor batteries, while one will be my cranking battery and one will be my electronics battery. So being able to charge that many batteries with a three bank charger is super cool. But 
Let me show you a more close up view of, of this because I don't think you guys can see this very well. All right, guys, here's a close up view of it. We got 36 volt on the bank one, 12 volts on bank two, and 12 volts on bank three. What usually would require a five bank charger, you can now do it in three. Amped Outdoors is doing it right. I'm gonna show you everything that I got in like one view and kind of explain more of what my system's gonna be. Bear with me here. Here are the batteries and charger from Amped Outdoors that I'm gonna be using in my boat this year. So we got my electronics battery here on the left, 100 amp hour lithium battery. That's gonna be for my electronics, mostly my Garmin LiveScope, Humminbird 360, my, my screens. I think that's about what I'm gonna run on it. We'll see, might run my pumps, I don't know. We'll figure that out when I go to install it. Then we got the two 36 volt, 50 amp hour lithiums for my trolling motor, which is a 36 volt system. So gonna be saving a lot of space by just running those two instead of three full batteries. Gonna be saving space and weight. And then finally, that three bank charger, which I am gonna say it right now, Probably one of the coolest things to come out this year. Instead of running a five bank charger, to be able to run a 36 volt, 12 volt and 12 volt system on only three banks. I, no one else is doing it like Amped Outdoors, guys. I'm telling you right now, this is gonna be one of the coolest systems I have seen in a boat. It might be simple, I'm kinda geeking out over it, but you guys just wait to see when I install this. I trust you, it's gonna be cool. So stick with me if you guys want, subscribe, like the video, I'd really appreciate it. I am in the future going to be making an install video with these batteries and this charger and my skeeter. So stay tuned, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya!